everybody happy monday i wanted to share with you the two fragrances or maybe i'll show three that i use non-stop okay you've probably heard me talk about these a lot but i thought that making a dedicated video would be easier for you to find in case you want to know what i'm reaching for and which fragrances that i wear non-stop okay so the first one is not a stranger right now it's tuxedo by ysl and to be honest i wish i had a full size of this because it's almost done I think in one more wearing, this thing is going to be finished, which is unfortunate. So it's it's run with me. It's coming to an end. <sighs> makes me sad. It makes me so sad because this fragrance right here is probably the sexiest out of all of them. According to like with women's reactions. Okay, so Tuxedo, I really, I understand why it's marketed as unisex. And I know some people think it's too masculine and all that, but... Honestly, the more I've been wearing this, it's just, I think it suits, it can really suit anybody. It just depends on how you carry yourself, you know what I mean? The, the kind of personality you have. Um, and for me personally, I'm always, like, fragrance is more about personality than, like, gender. Especially, I think, when you get more into the niche, you start to appreciate the notes and all those different types of things. So, like, you're not really worried about, oh, it's labeled as this and blah, blah, blah. But the great thing about Tuxedo is that it is it is labeled as a unisex fragrance. So people can go more outside their box and be a little bit more daring. But this scent right here, it smells like fresh and kind of green in the opening. Like, it has that burst of freshness. But then in the dry down, it smells like this boozy bourbon vanilla. You know, and that just makes this... It makes it smell so heavenly you know what i mean because i do love the opening but there's something about the sweetness in that dry down that makes it just so sexy okay this is probably i don't know if i mentioned it in the beginning of this video but the sexiest fragrance out of the two or three that i'm going to show to you according to women's reactions okay so according to like the ladies that have smelled this and just like all of them have given like sexy reactions but this one is just like oh my like on another level of sexy Okay, so <sighs> Tuxedo by YSL. I wish, I wish that I had a full size view, but I guess we're gonna have to wait on that. The next one is my scent of the day. I call it my old reliable, you know, and it's none other than Ombre Nui by Dior. This is a masterpiece fragrance. And I sprayed it on my other sweater last night because I missed it. And then when I was wearing it this morning, I was like, man, this dry down is so good. And I sprayed it freshly again today, literally in a, a YouTube short right before I made this video and I smell amazing. I only sprayed it on clothes because sometimes I have those days, you know, I just want to wear it on clothes, not skin. But this is an amber rose, pink pepper, what is it? Grapefruit fragrance. But the pink pepper and the grapefruit are there just a little bit in the opening. But what really carries is the amber and that rose. But don't worry, the rose is not mature. It's not off-putting. In fact, the way it intertwines with the amber makes this a very sensual scent. So to me, I find this, I do find this really sexy, but if we had to compare, Tuxedo is more sexual and Ombre Nuit is more sensual. You know, this is a much more cozy fragrance in my opinion, and this one is just like, this, this is sexy. This is just pure sex appeal in a bottle, in my opinion, in my opinion. I'm not saying you won't get those reactions with this because this thing has never failed me. Um, this is the fragrance that has just drawn people closer to me. This has given me a lot of long hugs. You know what I mean? And I love those. I'm a very much, I'm a physical touch kind of person. You know what I mean? So I love, I love all that kind of stuff. But yeah, Ombre Nui by Dior is also a very versatile scent. It's not as fresh as Tuxedo. It's better, it's a little bit more sweet or Better suited for the nighttime, you can say, but I honestly find this literally easy to wear year round. Besides like extremely hot summer days, this thing can just be worn whenever you really want it to be worn. And it makes a great signature scent. And look, I mean, there is already a dent in this bottle and it takes, out of all the bottles that I've tried and I've used, like, even though I use them, like you could still see them at the brim, but this one is already kinda, she's slowly, she's slowly going down, you know, damn it. Wow, but this is such a great scent. Also unisex, okay? This one is much more unisex than Tuxedo. I think that the reason I find Tuxedo more unisex now is because the more I've been wearing it, I'm like, okay, yeah. Like, I'm like, I start, I was like 
my vibe like like it was it was matching everything like was connecting you know but right from the jump this is a fragrance that is straight down the middle it does not matter who wears it it doesn't take a certain type of like a personality or like a confidence or whatever it's just like a very sexy juice that is very easy for anybody to pull off in my opinion so it's an easy one to start with but ombre nuit by dior has a special place in my heart and when this bottle is done best believe there's going to be another one after it so i love it a lot and the third one i was going to say elysium because i do really enjoy elysium but i'm gonna go with i think we're gonna stick with the private blend designers because man i use oud wood by tom ford a lot and i feel like this is a fragrance that when most people get their hands on it they cannot it's like like it's you become addicted to wearing it because it smells so damn good this fragrance right here is very fresh but it has that uniqueness with all those woodsy notes with the blend of all those woody notes and on top of that it's just like it's just so fresh this is very very sexy this has like this has also given me like the eyes rolling back kind of reactions you know and everybody for the most part loves those like when you're wearing a scent and people around you are just like oh my god you smell so good it's an amazing feeling you know what i mean but nonetheless even if i'm just doing my own business and i'm not going out to like meet with people this is something i wear for my own enjoyment because this scent just brightens my mood you know it's like this to me is sexy but it does it's not like sex in a bottle like the uh, tuxedo one and it's not cozy sexy like ombre nuit but this is just like this is like a fresh sexy like daily kind of versatile thing where it's like you can use it for whatever all of these i believe make great signature scents but god i just i find myself getting lost in this fragrance a lot of the times when i wear it now this one is also unisex which is fantastic so ladies i know if you've probably seen reviews on oud wood or if you've typed it in on YouTube, you might see more men talking about it, or you might see like a, a video of a woman saying, my favorite fragrance is on men. And then they'll, you know, put oud wood in there. And you're like, oh man, should I even wear that? Is it, is it too masculine? I was really interested in that. Or you might've tried it at Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's and liked it. And now you're seeing reviews of like men's fragrances, but don't let that steer you wrong. All right. Or don't let that affect how you feel about it. And if you want to wear it, I think that this is sexy on everybody on everybody this isn't too masculine for me it's just it's one of those juices that it just it depends on who wears it and like the way it will play on a woman's skin and a man's skin is very very different you know what i mean so i don't think that this is something that you should stay away from because you've seen you know the reviews are kind of like oh no it's going a bit too much on the masculine side i shouldn't try it always give something a try if you like it but yes and when i mentioned the uniqueness of this fragrance it's, remember, I'm putting it into perspective of the real world out there and the fragrances that people you're going to run into on the street wear, which is typically the Axe Body Spray, Old Spice, Victoria's Secret, and Bath and Body Works. The designer side of things is still very, like, new to a lot of people on the street. Like, even when you tell somebody, oh, I'm wearing blue to Chanel, they're like, oh, shit, that's a Chanel, blah, blah, blah. And to them, it's it's like top tier, you know what I mean? The private blends take that designer level and bring it up a notch. So even though this is a very popular fragrance in the fragrance community and it has a lot of love and also um, a certain amount of hate towards it, this is still very, very unique to the average person you're gonna be meeting with, working with, going on dates with, all right? So those are my three that I've been using nonstop in rotation. Um, let me know what yours are. It's turned into a designer private blend video, but Nonetheless, I love them all, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.